Hi guys and welcome to another pregnancy update. So I am 24 weeks and 3 days today. So what that means is I am officially 6 months pregnant. I can't believe it. The weeks are really starting to fly by now and to think in just 3 short weeks I am going to be in my third trimester and it's it's hard because with summer coming up, which is my favorite season of the year, I don't want to wish it away because, you know, he's due at the end of July, beginning of August. But I want him here so bad. But I know he needs to stay in there and he needs to cook for at least three more months. So anyway. So having said that, I will just move on to my update. So yesterday I had a midwife appointment and we also had our second ultrasound because like I said in my 20 week update I believe, there was um, some vessels in his heart that the ultrasound tech could not get a shot of because of the way he was laying. So. She had us come back in to check those, which they were fine. His heart is beautiful, she said. Everything looked perfect. And so all the checklist, the whole checklist of his ultrasound, she could check everything off and she just says he looks perfect and is growing beautifully. Um, she gave us just a few pictures since it wasn't like a routine ultrasound, but she did give us a couple pictures to have. So I will go ahead and show those to you guys right now. Okay, so I hope you can see this, but here's the first one, and here's like his forehead, and then it goes down to his nose, and then this right here is his hand. And this picture was so cute because he, when she took this picture, he, his hand was kind of floating up by his mouth, and you could see his whole mouth open. And he just took his fingers and stuck them right inside of his mouth and started sucking on them. And it was so cute. We all just laughed and thought that was just really, really adorable. So again, there's that picture. And then this one's just a quick, you know, just a little one of his foot right there. Sorry, there's a glare. But there's his foot right, whoa, there. And then the other one she took was just of his heartbeat, so, which was measuring 164 beats per minute. So she said that was great. So I'm so glad that everything looks great with him and that I can finally relax about all that stuff. Another thing with my visit yesterday is I got this, if you've been pregnant before, we all know this, glucose test drink. These are not the best, but anyway, so I'm supposed to do this. Um, some clinics have you drink it there and you have to sit and wait for an hour to have your blood drawn, but mine, they said to just drink it an hour before my next appointment and then just come in and have my blood drawn before my next appointment. So I will be drinking this at my 28 week appointment, which is on May 19th. So that's crazy to think. When I go to my next appointment, my kids are going to almost be out of school. Yay! Speaking of kids, it's been really exciting because the last week they have been able to feel him move. And it's really exciting to be able to finally have them be able to interact and feel him. Then it kind of becomes more real for them. And my son especially, I think he's just so excited to have a brother. He like every day will come up and put his hand on my... Um, stomach and be like is he moving right now and I'm like and I'm like well and I so I just tell him when he's moving I will let you know and you can come over and fill him because he's kind of fallen into a pattern of he has his sleep time and his awake time where there's periods where I don't fill him a whole lot and then there's periods where I fill him a ton and it's not like the same time every day but I definitely am noticing that he's developing like a sleep and awake pattern so, but when he's awake, I am like, anybody that wants to fill him, come fill him. And so the kids like to fill him and my husband likes to fill him. And it's just really fun and special to be at this point where they can all fill him move. My weight gain this last time was not very good. I need to be better. 
but I gained five pounds <laughs> since my last appointment. So I was wrong last week when I said I didn't think I gained anything. I need to make sure that I'm weighing myself at home more. But I'm kind of one of those people, and even the nurse I was talking to said that a lot of women will gain like all their weight in the first two trimesters and then they like won't get anything in the third. And that's kind of how I am. So five pounds, not good Robin. So I'm going to start being a lot more careful when I'm eating and just making sure I'm getting out and going on walks and things. So, but I am starting to feel huge. I just feel so big. I think I, like I said in the past, I think I am carrying him really high because I feel him way above my belly button and I think he's just floating up there really high. So I just feel really, really big and I still have three months to go. But yeah, so this week he, from my absence stuff, it says that he weighs one and a half pounds and is 13 inches long from head to toe. So he's getting to be a pretty good size. Oh, and another thing that's exciting about week 24 that I forgot to mention before is, is the week where it's considered viability week, which means that if for some reason he was to be born, then they would do everything that they could do to save him and keep him alive. So but I don't want that to happen. Sorry, my cat just jumped on my bed. <laughs> so it made the camera move. But so yeah, so I don't want that to happen. He needs to stay in there and he needs to cook for at least 12 more weeks because I'm almost 25 weeks. So at least 12 more weeks. So I'm full term. So but yeah, so that's just really neat to know that I've reached the viability milestone. But anyway, that really does it for this update. I really haven't been having any more symptoms, just kind of the same things that I've mentioned in the last week. Just, um sneezing and uh, chewing on ice still a lot and I've been drinking a lot of water and I'm still having oh this week one thing that's been started is um, I've been having some backache and but that's you know only normal because he's starting to get bigger and put on some weight now so I have been having a little bit of backache but I haven't really been having any like new symptoms pop up and cravings I haven't really had much for cravings still just fruit mostly has been like a big craving or like salty things and that's why I need to stay away from is the salty stuff so but anyway other than that everything is going good and nothing new is really going on so I am going to film a baby boy clothing haul because we've been collecting a lot of stuff and I don't want it to be like a 30 minute long haul so look out for that so I guess that really does it for this update so I will go ahead and show you guys my 24 week and three day belly and then I will talk to you next week for week 25. Bye! Okay so here it is from the front and then from the side and then from this side Here it is, push her up, side, this side, again from the front, so you can see some of my old stretch marks, <laughs> yeah, so. Alright, so there he is. Thanks for watching.